What are dApps? Let's imagine your car transporting passengers while you're at work, or your computer utilizing its spare capacity to serve people across the globe. Imagine being paid for browsing the web by taking ownership of your information and attention. That world is not far away. A paradigm shift in the way we view software is approaching. When Bitcoin made us reassess our definition of a currency, it gave us a sneak peek of the future, a world running on decentralized applications, or dApps. As the concept is still in its infancy, there might not be one definition of what a dApp is. However, there are some common features. Open source. Ideally, all changes should be decided by user and developer consensus. Its code base should be open to scrutiny. Decentralized. All records of the application's operation must be stored on a public and decentralized blockchain to encourage transparency, trust, and efficiency. Incentivized. Anyone that helps secure the application's blockchain should be rewarded with cryptographic tokens. If we adhere to the above definition, the first dApp was Bitcoin itself. Bitcoin is an implemented blockchain solution that arose around the problem of centralization. It allows for the transfer of currency without the need for an authority to deem transactions valid. This lack of a central authority is what makes Bitcoin a decentralized application. While both Bitcoin and Ethereum may be defined as dApps, Ethereum has a bigger plan in mind. Ethereum is, in some sense, a kind of dApp library. Ethereum enables developers to write programs called smart contracts that are stored on the Ethereum blockchain. These smart contracts are then stored and executed across every node in the network, making them decentralized applications. Rather than needing to develop an entirely new blockchain for every application, Ethereum created a secure platform for dApps to be built and deployed. So now that we know what makes a dApp, let's talk about why you should use them. Trust. You never have to take the word of big corporations, marketing, or PR agencies. All of the code is open source, so you can see for yourself what the application does and how it does it. Guaranteed execution. Because the code is executed across an enormous network, you'll get the desired results as long as a single node exists. The network will practically never go offline as long as your code exists on it. You know how sometimes Facebook or YouTube is just down? Not on the blockchain. Censorship resistance. Another benefit of having the code stored and executed on the blockchain is that it's impossible to take down an application without taking down every single node on the network. If you release a banking application that's better and cheaper than the bank, the bank can't just buy it and close it down. The application will always live on the blockchain for everyone to use. Many businesses today are built around the idea of centralization. If you create a safe and secure platform for people to transact, then you can take a cut of the transactions in exchange for facilitating them. But what happens when that's no longer needed? What will these businesses do now that Bitcoin has proven that no authority is needed to facilitate safe and secure transactions? Decentralized applications have put middleman-based businesses on notice. The fact that many large corporations are hurrying to secure their place in the blockchain movement serves as a testament to their possibilities.